case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2003, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case of Kentucky Asin of Health Plans, Inc. v. Miller, which dealt with state laws regulating insurance, specifically those that could possibly conflict with federal law. This case determined that for a state law to regulate insurance, it must be specifically directed towards the insurance industry and substantially affect the risk pooling arrangement between insurers and insureds. Several health maintenance organizations, HMOs, and a Kentucky-based association of HMOs challenged Kentucky's Any Willing Provider, AWP, laws, which prevent health insurers from discriminating against health care providers who meet the terms and conditions for participation. HMOs argued that these laws would make it difficult to control costs and quality, which would ultimately harm consumers. The District Court and the Sixth Circuit both upheld the AWP laws as saved from preemption under the Employee Retirement Income Security Act of 1974, ERISA. Upon reaching the Supreme Court, it was determined that Kentucky's AWP laws met the two requirements to be considered a law, which regulates insurance, and avoid preemption under Section 1144b. 2. A. Because the laws targeted insurance entities and substantially affected risk pooling, they were saved from ERISA's saving clause preemption. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.